impossible today to talk about leadership without locating it within a global context. My focus in leading our business now is to orchestrate a paradigm shift from local to global, from being South African centric to being emerging market centric. We have to do that because as a company, we need to be relevant in all the markets where we operate. We need to have a consistent and compelling value proposition in terms of what we stand for and what we offer. What we stand for is very important for us. It's not so much about the products that we sell, but it's about the values that we embrace. We stand for integrity, we stand for respect, we stand for accountability, and we stand for pushing beyond boundaries. So in this business, it's very much about people, and when you talk about people, leadership is indispensable, because people need to be led, and they need to be provided with direction. And it's not because the leaders know things better than the people that they lead. I would like to tell you that the people that I lead are actually cleverer than I am, but you have to be able to tap into their energies. It was Peter Drucker, the doyen of management thinking, who once said the role of management is to make ordinary people do extraordinary things for their companies. So the challenge of globalization is here to stay with us. My view is that if you are to be a player in the global scheme of things, you've got to embrace globalization. You've got to see it as an opportunity to be able to play at a much bigger stage and not just on the local stage. So it's really, really important to be versatile, to be adaptable, and to have an inquiring mind and to be committed to endless and ongoing learning. Ultimately, I believe that leadership is really about being a perpetual student of society, being a perpetual and keen student of business and understanding the trends around you. you. What makes you successful today may not make you successful in 12 months time. So part of what's required is the ability to unlearn the past and learn the present and the future. So it's really important to consciously and deliberately seek to reinvent yourself, seek to acquire a mosaic of skills and diversify your perspectives and also understand that business don't confine yourself to your discipline. You've got to detribalize yourself from a, a discipline point of view because you can't be a leader if you just think in a single and structured way that is just single-mindedly focused on one particular discipline. Because leadership, by its very nature, is multidisciplinary. Because you need people who are experts in their field, who are world-class experts in their field, and you should be able to, to inspire them, to motivate them, and make them uh, look up to you. Leadership comes with accountability, which is why it becomes very important that you pay particular care in making sure that you've got the right people that are competent, that are inspired, and that are committed to be able to deliver. And more importantly, I think the role of leaders is also to develop other leaders. And then the last point, really, at the end of the day, is that of ethics, which in the current context of the global economic crisis that we face, I think has got to be spoken about. I mean, to have an ethical backbone and embrace ethical accountability is to me very, very key to leadership. Unfortunately now, we're living in a world that is facing a leadership crisis. We're living in a world that's facing an acute leadership deficit. Uh, we look at some of the decisions that some leaders and business have taken, uh, which have resulted in untold harm to employees and to society, and uh, actually very, very uh, counterproductive. They do not serve the cause of business work. So we need to ask ourselves, what kind of leaders do we want to be? There is really a need for a new brand of leadership. We need to reinvent, reframe the concept of leadership. We need new leaders with different ethical code in business, in government, in civil society, 
in universities, and we need leaders that can think about the consequences of their short-term actions, and more importantly, we need leaders who can really plan and lay a foundation for long-term sustainable success for their companies, for their countries, and for the world at large. Thank you very much.